Hello, and welcome to Four Thirty Something Guys Making Fun of the Princess Movie. I'm Spencer J. Gilbert. Yeah. That's Dan, Hello. Joe, Lon. Take that, princesses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Uh, 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 we're going to be talking about the Honest Trailer, our uh, thought process behind it. If you stick around afterwards, you'll see some deleted scenes. Mm. We'll respond to comments from viewers like you, mm. and we will show some uh, a tease for next week's trailer, which mm -hmm. is going to be a fun one. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all, actually, I, I know I said we're gonna make fun of it. I really like this movie. This it feels is, good. This is good. I, I missed it when it came out. I did not know much about it, uh, and I thought it was a delight. Mm -hmm. I, I would rank it up there with uh, my favorite Disney movies. Yep, I like it. Now, wow. very favorite all time. Top yep. tier. Uh, top 10. Wow. I'll yeah. put it in top right. 10. Yeah. Yeah. All top 10 yeah. tangled. Yeah. There were some folks saying T. they were doing some honest trailer uh, fact checking, and they went back to our Frozen trailer <laughs> five years ago and okay. said that we contradicted ourselves. Because in the trailer for Frozen, we said it's been three years since the last Disney musical, and that was actually Tangled. Mm -hmm. And we said, and 18 years since the last good Disney musical. Yeah. So, so they say that we're we're playing both sides because we said that it, in uh, five years ago with a different writing team, except uh, for a couple people, uh, that uh, that uh, Frozen was better. Well, for my response to that, they'll have to wait till after we watch the oh. other trailer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, and it's coming up right, right after this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like the uh, uh, the villain uh, mom relationship with her. I thought that was like uh, an interesting choice for Disney, who usually presents mothers in such a good light, and uh, to kind of twist that and turn that on its head. Yeah, I thought mm -hmm. it was cool. Um, I thought the animation did a good job, kind of blending uh, 3D and storybook, and like. It, they didn't fully Shrek it. They didn't put like you know Jeffrey Katzenberg jokes in there, but they right. still gave it a more modern sense of humor. Yeah, than yeah. You're saying they didn't really... ogre do it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's gone. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't ogre do it. Um, but I don't want to go ogre boarded the praise, uh, guys. Uh, someone else. Uh, someone else. Uh, oh no. Uh, uh, what else you got, Joe? We wore the same shirt again today. <laughs> Son of a! Oh, it's ogre. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, no, no. I, I, I'm it, not doing it. I like yeah. I like this movie. I didn't see it when it came out. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. I, I didn't it. catch this one theatrically either, for whatever reason. Right. <laughs> well, I was <laughs> being a 35 year old yeah, man. I, I was in my uh, late 20s or early 30s yeah. when it came out. That may have been part of it. Yeah. But no, I think I think what you're saying it, it, it's it's how I feel too. It's it, it does a good job of balancing being a little bit funnier, a little bit more tongue in cheek, a little mm -hmm. kind of snarky, but not too far to where it feels like a parody or enchanted or something. Like it's still it's doing the thing that it's making fun. Yes. Yeah. Horse is funny. Horse, Horse is funny. Horse funny. Horse is Horse funny. Good. Horse, Horse real funny. good. Uh, all the characters are likable. Yeah, I like, I like it's got movie. a it's got a small but funny role for Paul F. Tompkins. What's there true? you go. What's, yeah, what's, he's got a dream. Like? Well, before this analysis gets too deep and hard hitting, let's watch yeah. the Australian <laughs> Four Tangled. It's good. horse funny. Horse, horse funny. Funny. <laughs> Paul F. Tompkins good. Hair yeah, long. Fall down. Disney good maybe. <laughs> I watch on Plus. <laughs> Once upon a time. Disney spent years working on a classic 2D animated Rapunzel movie. But when Princess and the Frog flopped and Shrek soared to box office heights, King Eisner decreed they start over with a joke-filled CGI romp for girls and boys alike. And you know what? It's better than Frozen. Come at me, haters. Now, pause. So, That's I mean, true. I, I, I fully, well, okay, I, I'll, I'll save again my response to that person for the end. <laughs> but, uh... I'm really sad that they took that lesson from Princess and the Frog that, like, we'll never make another 2D animated yeah, film again. Never again. Well, I think the timeline might be a little off there. How so? I, thought, I think Princess and the Frog came out in, like, 2009, and this movie came out in 2010. So I guess it would have been. They would have been fairly deep into the. I feel like you should have QT'd this before we yeah. went on commentary. Do you, do you watch our stuff? I just now. <laughs> I was just now. <laughs> I was. November 2009. Yeah. Just November now, 2009. Okay. I was just now thinking of that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Should I not have said anything? No, I, we just we just depend on you so much. <laughs> I did QC. I, I gave like no three months of notes on this. <laughs> I do numbers so much. I was I did not have my numbers hat on. Yeah, fair enough. It's fair. 
Uh, Sorry. But, but you know, just like the Sonic movie, they reanimated that in like a month, so they yeah. could have yeah. done this. It's yeah. wonders what these, yeah. these computer kids can do. It is sad though do. that uh, because the Princess of the Frog is not a huge blockbuster um, on the size of their other yeah. films, that they did seem to completely abandon the 2D. The, and, and the writing was on the wall all through that old era. It's a lot more expensive mm -hmm. and time-consuming to do the 2D animated films versus this style. And th this this was what was becoming more popular. It's what kids were getting into. It was only natural that that's yeah. where it was. So whether it was one movie or but a, I, more of a trend. But I do think that the, the lesson that should have come from Princess and the Frog, and the only lesson, was that if you were going to do a movie set in New Orleans and fill it with jazz, that Randy Newman does not do your yes. songs. Like, also, a, also a lesson we can draw. <laughs> Randy Newman is a national from treasure. Not everyone. do jazz. <laughs> There's a frog. Well, There's a princess. Just think about it. I Love L.A. works so equally well. <laughs> you don't have to change even the initials. It's a story. <laughs> you got oh, some oh. jazz in me. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I, liked, I like the music in Princess. <laughs> well, there you go. Randy Newman's a, he's a genius. He's, he's great. I haven't he's heard it or seen that movie, so I, it oh. looks pretty though. So let's he can going. do any genre. Yeah. I wish he had done Straight Outta Compton. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It doesn't even get nasty after dragging it through the forest. Yeah, along, full of burrs. Who really wants to see the kingdom's annual fire hazard for her birthday? I want to see the floating lights. But everything will change. I mean, pause. But we can just briefly touch on it. That village uh, should be gone. Completely thatched roof cottage. It's, yeah, it's all wood. <laughs> and yeah. everybody, you know, in the bay, but next to the village, mm -hmm. setting off all these lanterns. That's like a yeah. siege warfare tactic. One of them's going to get caught on something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, or come even, down the, yeah, another even boat. Even <laughs> in the movie, one of them is about to drop in Rapunzel as they kind of get like, whoop, whoop, get, 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 get up there. So you know that's happening all the time all over town. Oh, yeah, no, I probably, like, every other block or so, it's like uh, the beginning of Robin Hood Men in Tights, where they're like, every time we make a Robin Hood movie, someone sets our village on fire. <laughs> we, uh, I, I, we talked, it didn't make the trailer because it's yeah. a little too granular, but also the idea of, uh, the, the whole impetus for this is that Rapunzel wants to know why every year on her birthday they set these lights out. She's like, it's a sign every year on my birthday. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're Mother Gothel, why wouldn't you tell her that her birthday is, like, three months later? It's just like, what's just so special about, about today? Instead of, like, it's your birthday, child. Don't be like, nothing. You, you could also just not even tell her about the concept birthdays. of birthdays. Like, <laughs> also you true. control all the information she gets in the world. Yeah, there, there was completely room her. <laughs> there was one yeah. crack in the gaslighting, and, uh, and yeah. that's what, you know. Yeah, we didn't yeah, get in the use of, we didn't get in the use of too old boy as a verb, Either, oh, yeah. which I put in my notes oh, for yeah. this. Yeah. She but did get old boy. Yeah, she she's being old boy. And when you old boy mm -hmm. someone, you, you're just but you're it wasn't, information it wasn't a revenge based old boying. You know, that's true. Uh, it was just a, it's an opportunistic old boy. Right. Right. Um, also, the, that was a bad army. The kingdom, that thing, that tower was like within running distance. Yeah, it's yep. pretty close. And and it's not like mis it's not hidden by magic. It's yeah. like behind some vines. Yeah. It looks it's, like a pretty big. It's a pretty tall tower. Graphic yeah. by a waterfall. It's by I a think. waterfall. I mean, it's like hear it and go, eighteen oh, years. I like water. They couldn't find her. Like yeah. uh, Mr. Uh, criminal, career criminal, like bumbled his way into it. And like I wonder day. if it's like people in this city are just very snobby and they're just like, oh, walking up to that tower, it's a lot. They found they <laughs> found one flower on a cliff, yeah. and they didn't even know where to look, yeah. and they found it. Uh, but that was because it's like a totalitarian state. That was like forced labor. They got every single person to leave their homes. Yeah. Uh, yeah no. And you got to figure, like, back then. I'm a Rapunzel truther. I'm saying <laughs> I'm saying that, that they they abandoned her for a reason. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought that meant Rapunzel did 9-11. Yeah. No, <laughs> Rapunzel truther. See, now it's not fun anymore. <laughs> well, I will say that the king and Queen never say a, a word in the entire film, mm -hmm. uh, which is creepy. I find that mm -hmm. unsettling. Yeah. That they never say mm -hmm. anything. There's they just maybe of... they have like a psychic link controlling everybody. And there's a few like pregnant moments where you're like, oh, now we're gonna hear them. Talk. And then they they purposefully don't. Yeah. Like they cut away before they have a chance to. If you uh, scratch the surface, what I'm saying is there's more underneath here. Rapunzel on. The eye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the clues. Uh, are the lanterns chemtrails? You be the judge. Let's keep going. <laughs> Rapunzel is under the spell of her witch mother, Gothel. 
Wait, is she a witch? Or has Disney just conditioned me to think every childless old woman is evil? Anywho, she's not a witch. Ursula is, so. yeah. yeah. And gaslighting to stop her barely legal daughter from running off with a 26 year old career criminal and gets murdered by a chameleon for her troubles. It's gotta be the first time a Disney sidekick murders the villain. Marry, literally the first guy she's ever met, which. <laughs> Pause. I, uh. I, I think that this is like a big argument for like, yeah, this stuff's definitely for kids. Because the older I get, the more I, uh, I, I sympathize with like the, some of the villains <laughs> in these movies. Mother Gotham? Or, I, Mother Gotham. or I stop finding them as ugly and wicked, she if is, you know what I'm saying. She is pretty attractive. Ursula can get it. Um, you know, I'm just getting older. My tastes are refining. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, the movie makes a real good point. Don't judge me, Spencer. No, no, I'm not judging. I mean, um, that's that was the point we're making is yeah. like, uh, sure, it's kidnapping. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure, mm -hmm. uh, it's mm -hmm. for uh, she has her own motives to keep her trapped in a tower and isolate to room her to old boy her. She mm -hmm. has her yeah. motives. At the same time, she's never met a man before in her life. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The it's only true. man she meets is a liar and a thief. Yeah, and he's twenty six. It's true. Yeah. She true. marries him over the course of nine days. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. A, a, a week and change. Christmas break. Yeah. Uh, he's not even just like a it? thief, like he stole some bread. Like, he's not a Jean Valjean thief. Oh, he breaks no. into the king's thief. castle from and steals her the actual crowd. parents. Yeah. yeah. Is, like, who he stole that's, from. That's grand theft. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's nine. a complete narcissist. He, he's, his biggest complaint is that they got his nose wrong on the wanted posters. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy's a. Uh, I'm not into know, Nine man. Day Fiance. He's yeah. zero. I like that guy. Yeah. He's a real zero. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big old zero. Mm -hmm. uh, Zachary uh, Levi. Gotham was right. Yeah. <laughs> I said Gothel was right specifically about this one thing. Plus, You're going to have to capitalize a lot of letters. Yeah, Plus, we put a lot of pressure. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's the same in a magical kingdom as it is in Hollywood, but we we put a lot of pressure on the aging process for women over 30 and 40. That's right. And, you know, she's going to have to go to yeah. some extreme Look, measures to stay young. I mean, who was accusing her of being a witch mere moments ago? You know, this is, these are the societal pressures on, uh, you know, aging women yeah, in this, in this I might world. kidnap a lady with magic. Hair. Well, if they, know. I was gonna say, if they did make her a witch, it would explain the tower being hard. Maybe they should have made her a witch, because then they could have been like, well, she's hiding the tower magic with tower. magic. Right. You had a good point, Lon, that they are uh, uh, functionally no different from uh, oh. using Rapunzel is no different from the queen, Rapunzel's mom, also bogarting that flower yeah. for her. Own the needs. sun <laughs> puts a flower for anybody to use that can heal them or make them young forever. Great. And then the king and queen cut it down and make it into a juice. <laughs> They then give to just the queen, and then it's just hers, and no one else can use forever. That's worse than what Gothel does. <laughs> well, yeah. Or it's I mean, as it's better to, to old boy a juice than to old boy uh, a human But woman. then you're, ta you're secretly My... taking it from the whole world. Like, no, this could have healed millions of people, and now it's being used to save one person? You could have healed death. Yeah. yeah Everyone's like, immortal. Death. Everyone's immortal, or you could save this one lady's daughter. And by the way, you got to figure it out. Everyone died in childbirth back then. It was like yeah, it's it was not a cool that, thing to do. Yeah, it's not even that rare. But they're like, nope, no more Im immur <laughs> no more immunity for the entire world from everything. You can't have a monarchy and universal health care. That's like, true. This is true. You know, of there, you could. Well, there was you gotta, no, no, you gotta you gotta have a plague come through there, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta rule by fear. It's, what I'm saying is, it's back then was like a leeches and a donkey kicked the yeah, face. and then this is like <laughs> perfect. Everybody could just be healed instantly by what a that, plant. You're itching Again, that'll be four donkey kicks <laughs> and a prayer. All right, let's keep Take going. Take three drops this of sunlight and call me. <laughs> yeah, he really fights that horse. This is my favorite setup line we've ever written. I think. You ever want to see a man fight a horse? As Maximus the horse cop stalks Flynn like the Terminator and continues the grand animation tradition of turning every animal sidekick, no matter what species, into a dog. You're such a good boy. Yeah, that's just the default. That aphid bark. Sing along to a film that sort of gives up on being a musical halfway through. Featuring half an album's worth of there it goes. Hey, just, yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, could have burned alive. <laughs> that is a gasoline pond. Going about your daily routine. A lot of daily routine songs. Yeah. 
I'm a tough guy revealing my soft side. Cause we not deep inside. I've got a dream. Hey, pause. Uh, there was debate of the Gaston. Right? Yeah, we got some we got some feedback. Some oh, they said in the from yeah. Should we wait or should we do? That? All right, we, we'll, since we we'll, we'll do it right now. We'll do it right now because it's the, it's time. Yeah. Purple Iguana writes, "You guys put Gaston in mm -hmm. the guys with the soft side montage. What was Gaston's soft side? Uh, he's clearly very modest in that. Song. I just, I, it's not, <laughs> it's not that I don't think the point is we're saying objective." These villains have soft sides. We're saying this is the song where it's like, "Hey, I'm not so bad. Look at me. I got. I, I'm they're, nice too." They're Under villain the songs that like they're they're not even villain songs, but they're like, "Don't don't be scared of this character it's when like, he shows up on screen." And it's like, "Don't judge it." They're all like, "Don't judge a book by its cover." Like this guy looks like a real yeah. tough bad. I mean, he's still but, being a real butt in this song, but the point of it is like, it's because he's awesome. I'm awesome, and right. I'm, that makes me a great dude. From yeah. his perspective, yeah. the song is about why he's so likable, not why he's. A bad guy, and That's it kind of makes him look like a buffoon. Like, right. oh, he's Gaston. He thinks he's all bad. Yeah, um, but also, uh, I don't know. he's roughly the size of a barge. Yeah. Every last inch of him's covered with hair. These are good things. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> these are all bonuses. These are all pluses. <laughs> yep. And uh, look, I'm changing who I'm attracted to. I'm getting older. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <sighs> you never want to talk about sexual issues with you, Spencer. <laughs> A lot of those. Wow, so many of these. Get mad we didn't make parodies for these? You have to know the originals for it to work. Go ahead, hum the tune to Healing Incantation. That way. <laughs> Pause. Pro, uh, someone actually put the chords in the comments. Oh, good for them. Dan, Dan hum Healing Incantation. Right, right. Lon? Healing Flower. That's all I know. <laughs> 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 Joe, Joe da, 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 something like that. That's the Macarena. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, we'll heal you. <laughs> All right. Anyways, the <laughs> point is, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, point is, did, I remember the first four moves of the Macarena. <laughs> they did like, uh, yeah, they sung it like four times. It's like, oh, look a flower, it's a flower, grow. Like, I yeah. have no idea what it was. I couldn't but. tell you, yeah. Uh, not the most memorable stuff. And Alan Macon, like, I, he's great. It's fine. He has plenty of other hits. I Alan see Macon. the lights seem to be the one that most people uh, push back on. They're like, that's it's the fine. best song ever. It's, not ever. It's fine. You know what, guys? We, I, we picked Tangled. And then we forgot about the song part and get off our butts. <laughs> I mean, we didn't forget about yeah, it. I yeah. genuinely thought the like, okay, we could parody these things that no one remembers. Right. But, yeah. You know, there's Disney I think, people out there. A lot of I think Mother Knows Best is clearly the strongest. It's I'm surprised to hear yeah. that that was like that's to me the, that that's always the hit. But the, the yeah. Into the Woods version is way better, and it's the same song. It's like Rapun yeah. the witch yeah. singing yeah. to Rapunzel, and you know, right. well, he's he's a better writer. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic throughout, except for the nonsensical ending where her tears can suddenly heal the sick. That is, unless you're familiar with the source material, where Rapunzel's tears cure blindness, since her prince gouged his own eyes out after throwing himself off the tower. Nice effect. Now that's a grim fairy tale. It's a grim it's very German. Starry. Peace. Golden girl. It's about the futility of life. <laughs> Joey Tribbiani. How you doing? Garden, 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 chameleon. Dobbs and Shaw. And. Famous Maximus Osidius, steed to a kidnapped princess, seven to the pretty good Russell Crowe. Yeah. I'll have my vengeance in this life or the next. Disney's Tower of Terror. So, a young blonde girl with a wreath in her hair takes a birthday trip with her shady boyfriend to witness an annual ritual? Hmm. Anyone else getting strong midsummer vibes here? <laughs> <laughs> that joke's for the uh, 12 people who saw both Tangled and Midsummer, and four of them are at this table. <laughs> Hi! Hi. Uh, midsummer, VOD now, check it out. It's still fun. Um, let's roll right into some deleted scenes before we uh, mm -hmm. talk back at you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Okay, Clap back. Yeah. We didn't make pairs for these. You have to know the originals for it to work. At least there's a quick Billie Eilish cover. No, I'm the bad guy. Duh. <laughs> Works pretty well. I don't know. That's how that, that song goes. <laughs> Payback's a witch. Mother Gaslight. The Irish woman. My name is Chuck. That one. And I like to smolder. The Crown Prince of Crime. Ryder, I just met her. <laughs> <Some bump>. God. Oh, <laughs> 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 can't use it. <laughs> and fuck the police. <laughs> and horse cop. <laughs> and clop or my horse will That's shoot. pretty good. Do you remember the air up there? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Remember the Blair Witch Project? The Hair Witch Project. I like 
console today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Gross, dude. <laughs> Careful with your hair by that fire, Blondie. Many a weave was lost that way. <laughs> Danielle with the excellent joke. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. All right. Th those things didn't make it in. Weren't we just talking in the bathroom about things we wish we'd said? Ooh. Yeah, always. Yeah. <laughs> Any given day. Uh, yeah, Nine Day Fiance. Nine Day Fiance. Uh, what was yours? Oh, we were trying to do a dashboard confessional parody. Yeah, about like uh, your hair being everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> this is what we talk about in the bathroom. Just two guys at urinals going, <laughs> yeah. Yo! <laughs> Brutal. Uh, <laughs> flower, will you shine? Make my hair, make my hair grow. We're a little peaky today. You can already see the comments. We're peaky. Yeah, sorry. Uh, all right. Well, let's talk at y'all. Uh, Paul Greg Rutherford. Don't put your full Paul name. Paul Greg Rutherford. Rutherford. Don't yeah. put your full name in uh, your YouTube name. Uh, this is your best on Australia yet. Thank oh. you. So good. Great work. Yes. Thank you for doing it. Wow. Ooh, uh, I watch every week and love it. This, this <laughs> he went for the butt. Yeah. Oh, guys. Yeah. That's it for honest trailer commentaries. Um, yeah. Better than Frozen. Yes. So glad to see some appreciation for Tangled. Can't wait for your commentary to hear why you wrote that line. Because it's oh. true. So this is where we'll talk about uh, 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 what, what did you say earlier? We it's said like, in the in the honest trailer for Frozen, we said it's been three years since the last Disney yeah. musical and eighteen years since the last good one. Yeah. Do I even agree uh, with that? Uh, well, so I can answer just as someone who worked on both. I will mm -hmm. just say number one. I hadn't seen Tangled. Sometimes I make shit up. And I hadn't either. As the other, as the other writer, I still hear from that trailer. Hadn't seen it either. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sounded right. Yeah. Just seemed. I like, was an editor. Yeah. Uh, and then second of all, uh, having now I seen. I wasn't even in the room. I'm going to back my way into an explanation uh, that Frozen is a better musical. Songs are better. Mm -hmm. uh, Tangled, better film overall. I will definitely take the music of Frozen any day over the music of Tangled. I agree. Tangled better movie. Mm. Frozen better music. So if you want to strictly judge it on a musical basis. I do think Frozen is better. There you go. Do you guys Tangled. like any of the other Frozen songs besides Let It Go? Frozen. I like Frozen. Love is an Open Love's Door. Love is an Open Door. Uh, oh, yeah. Fixer Upper is fun. Um, uh, the, the Olaf song? We Are Making Ice song is yeah. good. <laughs> Just all <laughs> slaps. <laughs> yeah. Love is an Open Door is. I will stand by That's Love legit. is an Open Door. That's yeah. a legit good song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's not a song called We Are Making Ice. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, our guys version, the beginning, they're like, oh, we're making ice. Uh, this uh, okay. won't be important later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're making yeah. ice. Yeah, and Let It Go, as overplayed as it was, is like a, it's an all-time banger. That's a hell of a song. Yeah, that's a hell of a that's song. That's a hell of a song. Yeah. Um, so anyways, that's my response to that. That's worth like four songs. Um, and it gave us Adele Dezim. Yes. We wouldn't have had Adele Dezim on the Oscars if not for Frozen. Yeah. Adele Dezim. Shout out that's that would not exist to the Adele Dezim moment. Uh, not going to try to pronounce this, so I'll just say Zach Levi fan 69 writes, so you don't mention Zachary Levi? He deserves to be a household name. I think he's close. Yeah, sir, he's no, like, we didn't mention Mandy Moore either by name. Yeah. Uh, he Here's your Zach Levi mention. He's a delight. I like him in this film. I like him as Chuck. I like him in uh, Shazam. 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 Thank Shazam. you. I liked him in Thor. Yeah. Uh, the first one. Yep. Or the second one? The, the second, second one. one. The second, second one. one. I like yeah. his performance. One of the fours. He yeah. The, I think he the replaces Thor. the guy who was in the first Van Thor and the second guy. Yeah. Yeah. Van Dyke's is Thor's Van Dyke friend. Yes, he's Thor's Van Dyke. <laughs> Thor's friend with the Van Dyke. Yeah. Yeah. The Van Dyke, yes. Uh, Punzel with the Van Dyke. <laughs> Chloe Luis writes, why did he sound so incredibly cheery in this Honest Trailer? This is just what John does in his uh, his Disney ones. He's, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's imitating other professional trailer VO people, and this is like the Disney house style back when they used mm -hmm. to have voices in their trailers was this is what it sounds like. And if yeah. you watch his 80s, 90s action movies, he's doing like the, Don the, the Fontaine. It's yeah. a hard ticket to yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hard ticket to Hawaii, oh, exactly. Great film. Um, and he does like a, he does a, Brit a British-y thing for like Harry Potter and, right, and yeah. uh, some other stuff like that. Uh, Jedi McPimp, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was an Irish. He's an Irish oh, Jedi McPimp. Jedi McPimp, McPimp clan. <laughs> of the Dublin McPimp. Ah. <laughs> oh, Jedi McPimp, right? <laughs> McPimp was my father's name. Yeah. Why was Don't Frozen me. more popular? Uh, this is clearly the superior film. What do y'all think? Let, Let it go. go. Let it go. Let it's it that go. song. Music, music, music. Yeah, I, I yeah. think it was... I mean, there are also some things just, they get a momentum, you know? When something becomes a phenomenon, mm -hmm. other people want to see it because it's a phenomenon. I also, yeah, I also think before Frozen, the narrative on Disney, weirdly, still on animated musicals, was like, oh, well, now they're just trying to do Shrek. <laughs> uh, you know, like, kind of, like, they weren't 
because now post Frozen, it's like, oh, of course Disney does the best animated movies. But I think there was another weird like dark period pocket yes. there. Yeah, Disney was, was coming out of a very yeah. dark animation time. When right, yeah. and this was yeah. after, but it was right after the the Pixar merger re, where they like poached someone to then run Disney mm -hmm. animation from Pixar so everything like Brave wasn't that a Disney movie? Yeah. yeah. Right? Like they started to become more Pixar-y mm -hmm. and like then I think Frozen is where they arrived at like the best of both worlds. Yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. was, I mean, it was, you know, there was like a little. Like, it was like modern black cauldron. Yeah, like, like, what are you guys uh, doing? Yeah. There's always those like adjustment periods where like the industry's changing and animation and tastes are changing and it all mm -hmm. kind of happens at once and then they have to like re, yeah. you know, direct everything. And yeah. this was sort of the movie where they kind of started to like figure it out and then Frozen really moved it in the new direction. Well, there you go. Also, um, uh, Rapunzel and uh, uh, Eugene uh, are in Frozen. They're at uh, the wedding. They are indeed. Oh, really? Yeah. Shared See, universe, I, baby. I have, I, I had a theory, because looking at the F Rapunzel's village, it was like the Dorn of the, it looked mm. like the Dorn of uh, of wherever Elsa lives. It was Which like, is Aaron, definitely why Aaron, we didn't it, looked war it looked warmer, like, like it was a warmer climate. Everything was a little it more like sandstone. German. Uh, it, but it, but it had but it has similarities. Yeah. So uh, I, I wonder, like, it's, she's she's from like south of where? I'd say it's more like uh, Lannisport, uh, you know, right? the western lands. <laughs> it's a Castle Rock, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Dornish feel to me. It had a Dornish feel. But Dornish are the swingers. Yeah. The, it's, the, it's more like High Garden. You know, we did not look. We did not get a good look at that festival. You don't know what happens when exactly. they're those lanterns built. Have you seen Midsummer? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's Dorn. That's got Dorn right. written all over it. Good point. Uh, all right. Those yeah. are your questions. Uh, and these are our responses. So we hope you enjoyed them. Uh, why don't you come back for next week uh, when we'll be doing whatever it takes to bring you that honest trailer, mm. no matter who we have to kill. <laughs> well, not kill, but you know, Why? maim. Honestly, uh, kill. But, <laughs> but probably kill. kill. It's not not kill. I don't yeah. even know how that, that clue works. You'll see. You'll all see. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Honest Trailer Commentaries. Bye-bye.